Uh, there was uh, a massive, massive WordPress exploit over the past couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking in... I, I lost count at about a half a million websites that had been compromised. That's and at crazy. that point, yeah, it is. I mean, crazy, but okay, so why does WordPress get exploited? If you have a WordPress site, if you have a WordPress blog, a lot of companies have convinced themselves that they need to have a WordPress website. And part of that is because it's cheap to, de to deploy. Right. So a company will say, oh yeah, we can build you a website for only 800 bucks or only 1400 bucks or, you know, oh, well, that's a lot better than the guy who's building a custom website uh, for 4,000. You know, right. So if if they can deploy WordPress and everything is all built in anyways, and so it's really really cheap to get it up and running, it's free software. Mm -hmm. That's all fine and good. It's excellent, excellent software. However, now that they've got their three hundred dollar website, it's up and running. We're making sales, and who's maintaining it? Who's making sure that all right. of the latest security patches are installed? I hope that you're with a managed WordPress hosting service, um, but if you're not, it falls behind. As it falls behind, um, these hackers and malicious users discover ways to break into websites, WordPress websites. Right. Every single week in the news, there's always a story about some security threat or flaw or some hacker getting in and doing something. This is just mm -hmm. another big one. Just another one where you think it's not going to happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> right? So why does it happen to churches and government offices and individual people's blogs? Like, why is it that, you know, if I wanted to start my own blog just to talk about, you know, my dog. Right. Like my blog. I'm going to get, get compromised. Yeah. And it happens. Well, we fall into thinking nobody's going to attack my website because I'm just me. Exactly. I'm just, I'm just talking about, I'm blogging about my dog. Nobody's going to hack me. Well, the fact is, is that like phishing scams, like, um, like ransomware, uh, malware and things like that, it's not targeted. And the moment that we realize that these are not targeted attacks, then we all of a sudden clue into the fact that we're vulnerable because yeah. these scripts, these r robots basically, we'll call them, they're called bots, but they're basically programs that are built for mal malicious purposes. Purposes. What they do is they go out scouring the web and they find WordPress sites like yours that have not been updated. And if they find it, which it's very easy for them to find because they know what the exploit is, they've figured it out on a test system somewhere. Right. So then they, f they accumulate this list of tens of thousands or 250,000 websites that have this vulnerability that they've discovered and then they flip the switch. It's right. not targeted at any one of those individual websites. Those are just the ones that they found and that they added to their list of ones to exploit. That's it. And then all of a sudden, your website becomes an attack vector for viruses, for malware, for ransomware. So people bring up your website. You know, you send a link to your website to mom and dad, and all of a sudden, all their files are encrypted. Mm -hmm. uh. Sorry about that. So if you run WordPress, you have to do this right now stop watching the show pause the video log into your wp login dash ph or dot php get in there into the back end of super administrator and update your wordpress site now right. with the current version they've patched it we've talked about uh word fence on the show before mm -hmm. get onto our website category 5.tv and do a quick little search for the this one word word fence and that's going to tell you all about some security software that's going to help protect you right. in a proactive way from these kinds of attacks. Uh, but the reason I bring it up tonight is because this is a very serious issue that is currently in the wild. Uh, it was discovered a couple of weeks back and it hit like a ton of bricks, hundreds of thousands of WordPress wor websites. Right. So make sure now, you update. I mean, some people have Word, WordPress blogs and websites mm -hmm. that they just, they have just neglected they just left it behind absolutely yeah right so if it's for example mine yeah um which luckily you somebody updates it for you you look after it yes. but let's say that like let's say i start two years ago yeah i'm gonna do a blog let's and just say that let's happened. just say hypothetically this happens and then after a few blog posts that i loved doing and still would love to get back to i just let it go by the wayside mm -hmm. and then i forget about it so Am I at risk because I've created it even though I'm not going on it? Is mm -hmm. there, 
Yes. Your site is at risk. My site is at risk. Your site also contains personal information about you, like right. your email address. Right. So your password for WordPress. Right. Those so there, kinds of things. there are people out there right now who aren't actively using their website or their blogs that still should be really Absolutely. paying attention. Absolutely. Yeah. If you have WordPress running or any software, Joomla, it doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't matter what program it is. You've got to keep it up to date. But right now, this very time, it's crucial that you update WordPress.